says white. So right here is the peonies Anna's after. She wants herself some white peonies. I don't have enough in my life. How many peonies do you have, Anna? I have 320. <laughs> busted out with only the baby and we are going to the plant club's perennial plant sale and apparently it is cutthroat. It's 8.20 right now, we're just doing bank and grabbing coffee and then at 8.30 there's a viewing time where you're allowed to view but not buy and then at 9 o'clock it starts and you got to grab everything you want as fast as you can. So I'm going to see what I get for video there but apparently it's cutthroat and I'm interested to see how this goes. oregano, but I don't eat chives. That's for sure. This is why we brought the Suburban. All this nice covered wind-free space to bring the plants home in. So I spent $18.50, but I gave him a 20 and told him to keep the change. Anna spent $106, which was like less than she thought. Um, <laughs> but now I'm not sure where we're gonna put feed and groceries. But luckily we don't have anybody but a baby, so we can put feet up there, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. soother jiggle while we're parked. My sister ran into the feed store for a fencing part. Um, it's been a successful town morning. Um, we have loads of plants and groceries and we're jammed in here and now we're heading to our mechanic. Um, since there's two drivers here, Anna's gonna drop me off and I'm gonna pick up our truck from the mechanic. It's getting serviced there. We have a farm truck that's on a daily driver. And she'll drive my Suburban home to my house and I'll drive the truck home and then with the truck I'm gonna go get feed too. But uh, the soother jiggle is working this time. Mm -hmm. I'm home from town, unloading all the stuff, some groceries. Maybe I'll do a grocery haul for you. I also got these. I've had other flavors of them, but this one is unsweetened and it's like actually unsweetened, not like unsweetened. But hey, it's actually got like aspartame and all sorts of other junk in it. No, this is actually unsweetened. Mountain blackberry. I'm excited to try it. But I got home and my family had started a fire in the fire pit and they had farmer's sausage out. So we're gonna have us some lunch. Open your hand. Yes. Yeah. You know, 
Dad found some ox wings last night and oysters. Max found a few ox wings last night. A movie that I don't know what it's called. You watched three movies before you got back. Well, they're short. Bray, can you show me your lunch? There's only what you got? One long Marius is outside pumping water, um, which is what we we pump water to feed to water animals and gardens. He just called and said the pigs are out, and pigs are like my least favorite thing to get out because trying to get pigs in is like herding cats. Actually, the dog is really good at it. I get the dog. So we called asking the kids to run down. But I decided that I'm going to run down too and see if I can help. The dog is actually really good at herding animals. Even though she's not trained to do so, she is border collie cross and she's quite good at it. I ran down here just as they were finishing up getting them in. And it wasn't that a kid let a gate open, it's that they rooted underneath. So Mac, can you get big rocks and block that hole with big rocks? And that should slow them down. So this garden bed here, which is in front of the house, is what I've kind of designated as my herb bed. Um, I planted some mint and thyme, and there's already lots of chives. I'm gonna weed. There's also asparagus in here. And there's some cherry, sour cherry bushes that um, <laughs> barely survived last winter. And then here there's anemones and tulips and irises and dandelions and this tool here is called a Dutch hoe and this tool here is about the best darn thing that you can get for weeding on giant weeds like this it's helpful but not the best but on smaller weeds like this okay it's not really a one-handed job but guys like just kills all those weeds Ooh, look. and so it's the best for weeding so we'll give this a weed and um, hopefully later, when Mary is inside, I can get outside to the big garden and do some weeding there too. So from the plant sale, I got oregano. So oregano is kind of an annual, not a perennial here for the most part. I don't have hopes of this lasting over winter. So I bought a lot because it was cheap. It was like a dollar for those pots and I want them to grow big so I can dry a pile because we use a lot of oregano. So I've got those three oregano. I've got this mint, which is just labeled as mint, but it looks different than the mint I had. I've got ginger mint and these were all like 50 cents or a dollar. Tarragon, which I've never grown before. Um, this just says peppermint or spearmint, but again, it looked different than the other mints, so I decided to get it. Can you tell I love mint? We love fresh mint. We love mint tea. If Marius has a cold or anything like that, he'll drink mass amounts of mint tea, and he wants it to be all wild or homegrown. And then here's another big thing of tarragon. So, again, I'm assuming that tarragon is not going to survive over winter. Mint will come back next year. I don't know if the tarragon and oregano will, which is why I bought so much of it in hopes of drying a pile for use over the next year. So the small weeds, I just kill them and let them die. And the big ones, I am um, The big ones, I do this too with the Dutch hoe. And then the kids pick them up. I kill the grass and then the kids collect it up in a bucket and feed it to the chickens. Okay. So my hope and wish for this garden bed would be that the mint and the chives and the oregano and the tarragon and the thyme would just like take over, naturalize and take over this whole thing, that it just be brimming. Nope, this is my shovel. That it be brimming with herbs, so let's see how that goes.